Hey guys, Jay back again for Wixwise Fat Audio. Today we have a super clean VE for the brand new Alpine Fascia. A couple of videos ago, I did the unboxing of the new Alpine Fascia, which I'll put a, up there. Today, I actually get to put one in. So this will be the first time I've actually installed one, and I'm uh, a little bit excited, I'm not gonna lie, because that's a killer bit of kit. So, as well, on top of our Alpine kit, obviously we've got some new speakers to go in as well, just S-type coaxial for the rear, some S-type components for the front, uh, Alpine 702, obviously to go into our fascia, um, we've also got a CAN bus alarm to get in there and a GPS tracker. So, well, might as well stop talking about it and start pulling this thing apart. Sweet. Let's go and have a look inside and see how clean this thing is. As you can see, he is a P-plater. Now he came into us when he was still on his L's um, and he actually managed to pick this car up off uh, one owner, 70 or 80 year old bloke. So um, you can kind of get the idea of why this thing is so clean. Um, it's only got 93,000 Ks on it, which is stuff all for a, for a VE, um, let alone an SV6. Most of these had pretty much been, you know, abused. So um, let's have a look in here because I still can't get over the fact that this thing is so clean that it looks virtually brand new. Even the seats, all the interior, everything is mint. So that is super cool. So first task is going to be get this dashboard apart. Um, obviously I'm going to drop the glove box, I'm going to drop all of that out, I'm going to drop the uh, driver's side, uh, get all this stripped down because obviously once I'm doing an alarm, um, I'm going to need to get in behind the uh, steering column and everything. So I'll do that, get that apart. Um, not going to pull the doors apart just yet, but let's get into it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking out. I can't remember the last time I worked on a VE and it had every single clip there. These, these little baby center console things. Normally, all of them are missing, but all of them are here. Win, but I did just find something. Uh-oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yippee. Ah, look, that's not too bad. That's literally just an ISO harness. Or should I say a quad lock harness? There you go. And that is an unmodified harness, which is good. He's very good. I can get him out of here. Ah, there you go. Lovely. And this is all just for Mr. iPod cable. There you go. Done. All right, there we have it. There's a dashboard stripped down. Well, time to move on and um, suck at this head unit in there. Isn't that a bit beautiful? I think it's one of the cleanest, nicest 930s I have ever seen. And of course, it's not just a 930. Oh yes, it's the Widowmaker. Oh, but yeah, well, do something about that and all of the above. Hmm, enough about that. Enough about that, back to the Commodore. <laughs> All right, we've got our fronts and rears in. 
mounted, ready to go. Tweeters in as well. We've got our DAB on the window, our GPS in. So, making some good progress. Timmy is up here getting the uh, siren sorted for the alarm. That's good. So, next thing is I'm going to get the head unit stuff sorted out, which I've got a lot of my wiring done for that already. And uh, move on with said alarm system. Yippee! Okie dokie. So, we have uh, head unit in. I'm at uh, almost power this up and just check that everything's actually doing its thing. So, you see I've got my climate control and my other ports run through already. Um, here is our mm, yummy fascia. So I haven't put our clips on just as yet, and just because I don't know if I actually showed this too much in the um, in the unboxing video. Again, I'll throw that up in the corner. But um, the build quality of this thing is properly nice. Like, I mean, Broadcom chipset, the whole thing is just. I mean, it's been really well made, really, really well made. And this is why they are as expensive as they are because it is better than OEM quality, like legitimately better than OEM quality. So good stuff. But for now, we are going to plug him in, make sure everything is working. Then once that's confirmed, we'll lock it all into place. I think my favorite part of these Alpine faces is that they actually fit. <laughs> yeah, that tends to be a problem with a lot of kits. Unfortunately, yes. Mm, look at oh, that. Oh, oh. Now, obviously, that's not locked in yet, but look at that. That is, that is mint. Those lines, everything lines up spot on, bang perfect. Look, even the color of it's like, yes. All right, let's turn it on. Out by Ina. Beautiful. We have noise. That's a win. Yep, here's our, our bottom screen firing up. Hey, 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 hey. All right, sweet. So, in theory. Wow. Nice. That, and this is super responsive. It's just such a nice display to use. It, is. it, it really takes, is. takes the car into a whole other dimension. Another dimension? I'm going to say another dimension. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, steering wheel controls work straight off the bat. That's always a good sign. Beautiful. That's great. Um, Sweet. Beautiful. That is good news. All right, and we're done. So let's get in and have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, and of course, we need to. Uh, do ye old peel. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm, I am super duper impressed at how good this kit looks. It does look absolutely awesome in the dash. And you know what? There's been a lot of guys that have sort of said like, oh, you know, that's a really expensive fascia kit for a car that's, you know, 15 years old. Well, look, fine. It is an expensive fascia kit. I completely understand that. But for this kind of car, and this car that is so clean, I mean, it deserves something like that. I mean, it is the best VE fascia on the market and it shows. So regardless of that, we better um, fire it up and have a look. There is actually another cool bonus with these as well is that obviously you do have your factory screen at the top and we do retain it. So, there we go. As you can see, we've got our gauge at the top working. Let him fire up. we go so standard uh, you know Alpine 702 nothing too special there um, I mean great quality units but of course from here we can now obviously get our fans all going and then we can change our vents here as well and it'll shift through to the floors we hit that we get these back again obviously this is our temperature um, which is now a climate control. 
uh, which obviously this was not climate control originally, and that's the big bonus with these two, is that it turns a standard single zone uh, non-climate into climate control, because obviously we have added a temp sensor in there. So that is very, very cool. Now, the other thing that is cool with this that I didn't get to show with my unboxing is this menu. And you can actually see all our car information and stuff there as well. So that is pretty damn cool. We've got our battery percentage and voltage down the bottom corner. Now, the other cool feature we do get here is this button here. And this now brings up our speedo and uh, oil temp and everything here. So that's actually oil pressure and temp. Um, it is very, 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 very cool. Uh, also have done a full CAN bus alarm. Um, we put a GPS tracker in with a uh, kill of the engine start. So um, this should be pretty well protected for wherever he wants to park it, which is, you know, kind of, kind of the win. And he is only a fresh P plater as well. So, you know, having all of this in the car straight away is gonna be, I wish I had this when I was 18. Jeez, this is a bit nice. Better than my VP Commodore, that's for sure. So, there you go. I am super impressed and super happy with how all of that came out. Like that really does look amazing in the dash there. Awesome. So there we have it guys. There's another one done and dusted. Um, that kit is so awesome. It really does look wicked in here. So I think someone's going to be a super happy uh, <coughs> pea plater. That's for sure. And I think he's going to be coming back for round two to add amp and sub and all of that pea plater needs. So uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, come like me on my Patreon. I'll put a link in the description. But like, subscribe, share, all of that stuff. Um, send us a comment. Tell me what you think of this. I, I still maintain this is the best thing I've seen in a VE. So thanks, guys. Until next time, see ya.